Gun Talk is brought to you by Ruger, Nosler, Walther, and Trigicon. When you talk about the connection between old guns and new guns, you have to get into cowboy action shooting. Beth Stockwell Willie, a top competitor in cowboy action, describes this modern game based on the Old West. I got into it because I worked for a gun store that sent me to a match. Since I wore cowboy boots, they thought I should try shooting cowboy matches, and I did that with borrowed firearms. I did have a side-by-side -side shotgun that fit the requirements. You need two revolvers, a shotgun that's side-by-side, -side, or an exterior hammer so that it's an 1800s type shotgun. So I went to that first shoot. It was the national championship winter range in Phoenix, Arizona, and I competed and did well. It was a good time. The mounted shooting was um, began just because it was something that we thought would be fun to try. And the um, 4440, for an example, wasn't that popular a few years ago when cowboy shooting started. People were getting old guns out that they had inherited and found that if they could get the cases and load their own ammo, they could start shooting those again. And now a lot of the ammunition is back in production because cowboy shooting has taken such a growth. I still shoot the 45 caliber. I like it. It's just traditional. But I see now that more and more people are shooting the 38, 357 for competition's sake to be faster and also not as expensive. One of the things we get from the cowboy action movement is some really interesting ammo. Now, before there was a 357 Magnum, there was a 38 Special. But before there was a 38 Special, there was a 38 Long Colt. Now, it hadn't been available, or at least hard to get for a long time. Black Hills brought it back. Now, it's for shooting in some of these older guns, but you can shoot it in your 357 Magnum and your 38 Special. It's very light loads, low recoil, great for training, Great for starting somebody shooting. Let me load this thing up and show you what I'm talking about. They fit right there in your 357. Don't worry about it, just shoot it. Piece of cake, no recoil, fun to shoot. 38 long coat from Black Hills. It actually can breathe new life into that 357 and 38 special that you weren't enjoying before. This puts the fun back into it. When you compare the guns and accessories of today's gear with that of a century ago, you have to include advances in ammunition. There's a secret that a lot of people don't know about. Yes, our guns are better now than they've ever been. But the truth is, the reason that we shoot better, the reason that we have such better systems, is the ammunition is so much better than it was 100 years ago. And that's due primarily to bullets. Why is that important? Well, the bullet, of course, is what you send out. I mean, we have incredible selections of bullets. Look at these skinny, great, high efficiency bullets. Well, we wouldn't have these in loaded ammo if it hadn't been for hand loaders. Hand loaders figured out 40, 50 years ago that they could make better ammo than the factory could. So they were shooting smaller groups, they were shooting higher velocities, and then factories started loading up ammo. Now look at this incredible array of great ammo we have. Just for example, let me show you something. 223 ammo all from one manufacturer, from Nosser. We have 40 grain, 64 grain, 55 grain, 77 grain. You can pick a load that matches whatever you want to do. You need something that just expands poof and it's gone, the Varmageddon. You need a really long, efficient competition cartridge you can shoot long range with, you got that with the 77. You need something you can shoot defensive with, you've got uh, Nosler Custom Defense bonded ammo. You have 223 ammo now that you can hunt deer with because of the great bullets. The truth is, the major advance we have in guns is actually the incredible performance of today's ammo.